Hello friends, and welcome to episode 16 of Game Revention Dark Souls, the weekly Let's Play series where a group of friends examine the games that everybody should play, but that we haven't yet. I am your host and runner Robert C. Gray, joined by a panel including Troy Edwards and our returning Sherpa, Timothy Day. What's going on, fellas? Thumbs up if you like what we're doing here, subs if you love what we're doing, and if you hate it, send us an angry tweet or strongly worded email. All of that is in the description, and with that, let's just jump into it. This was a fun room. Oh, you killed the boss! Of course! I had no idea I, you killed it. I wasn't going to... Yeah, I haven't... Uh, and for our, our viewers, I haven't actually dropped episode 15 yet, and Tim was absent, so he didn't see the thrilling conclusion. But uh, I basically was not going to go to sleep until this boss was done. <laughs> Gray, I don't know if he'll keep it in that, but Gray told us we could log off and go to bed, and he would keep fighting. <laughs> so... <laughs> We, we don't have to talk too much about how that works. I'm sure I can go watch the video eventually, but um, what, what what were your impressions of the old bed of chaos here? In short, I thought it was a... Well, it was an unfair fight. It was some of the most unfair um, <laughs> bullshit that the game has thrown our way. However, what I did like about it was that stats didn't matter. I mean, perhaps health did, like vitality. But, you know, up to this point, the fact that I've just put all of this... Um, these points into strength has made a difference. And this is the first fight where strength did not, like all of those points were wasted mm -hmm. in terms of this fight. And so the the curveball that they threw at us in that respect was cool. Um, did, how do I get out of here? Did, <laughs> did um uh, did you, did it take you multiple attempts or did you clear all of it in one attempt? Oh, God, no, it took many, many attempts what? to the point that I told the boys they can just go to bed. Sure, sorry, no. Uh, <laughs> I, 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 I will finish I'm trying up. to... Did you blow up... Because there's like the left arm, the right arm, and, and the little yeah. bug, right? Did you blow up all three of those in the same attempt? Oh, no. We only took out the left and the right and then um, got here. Okay. So, it, I, it could be construed as a spoiler that that is a thing that can happen on this fight. Is that the progress stays between attempts. Yes. Yes, that's very cool. And we uh, we call that out. You gotta mainline that Lord's Soul now. Put it in your smoothie. Yeah, this uh Oh! Wow. Uh I'm not using my powers very well, am I? Uh <laughs> the way that we get out of here is that we just teleport. <laughs> I will That is oh that's frustrating though, because the game's always been so cool and like giving you a path back. Yeah, I, I will save some like Jeez. thoughts and stories. Uh, there, there are some interesting developer stories about this boss fight. I'll, I'll say that until you're done with the game. Um, okay. Because it's 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 an interesting conversation. I I heard Tim in the back of my head the whole time, like, oh, don't don't pick that one. That's you know. But uh, the thing is, we were able to get to the boss, and we never had to, we never had to swing our axe. Interesting. You ran you, you ran um, from this so bonfire. You, yeah, we ran from this bonfire. Um, and here I'll show you. Uh, Never the that, um. So. Oh, I see. You you um. You opened the door. Yeah, we uh we had to kill our our old. Friend. I've never done this. I've never opened oh. the door. I keep. I always screw it up. I, I mean, you had to kill the best bro in the world. I also like. Uh, we did. I like can't bring myself to do that ever. It's you're a bastard. It's a good thing I wasn't there. Did you ever go back down to uh, Sun's Fortress? And oh, well. No, no, we still have all of those uh, to-do items uh, that you see here on the right side of your screen. Uh-huh, you um, see it. It's right, right there. there. On, on, on the right, picture you see in picture. Them? Yep. Those, Number those, three, hold away for Solaire. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes. I think you it says pour, yeah, pour one out is actually what the text says. Mm -hmm. Um, all of those items that are just sort of like, oh, go back to Blight Town and kill the thing on the wall. Go back to Sense Fortress and free Big Hat Logan. Uh, we haven't really done any of those. We've been kind of on main quest. Gotcha. It's, it's what our viewers crave. And well, I mean, I, didn't, didn't, didn't the boss. route was pursuing one of those side threads, so to speak? It's true, yeah. I, I thought that... Um, the, well, I kind of got a hint when I saw the fiery door with the um, the, the gold 
smoke disappearing, the yellow, oh, yum, yum. yellow fog. I was like, uh, I should just go revisit that area, but I didn't realize that it would be a direct path. I thought maybe I just uh, forgot a side door or something. I mean, there's obviously a ton of improvements you can make to any game, but uh, with that whole section, I, I know my first time through, I was like really confused on where to go. Uh, because they make those gates disappear, and if you haven't been to the place, you don't mm -hmm. necessarily know. <laughs> you don't recognize it's not that. Like, yeah, it's not like you can go watch the cutscene again. It's almost like what they should have done is like you have to go up and like proc, uh, like yeah. a hand, a hand touch or something, and right. then it and then it disappears. All right. Uh, Tim Steves, give us the uh, give us the architecture preview here. Like, tell us about the right hand strokes and you know, the brushes and everything you use for this mm -hmm. painting. <laughs> Improv time, Tim. You gotta pretend like you're a, a snooty um, art critic. You know, the use of composition, the rule of threes is clearly present. It's, it's just a canvas full of happy little accidents. There you go. I can see that. I'll take okay. it. Okay. I'll take it. Well done. Poltergeist! Poltergeist! Don't save it third time. He was never heard from again. Game over. Whoa! This is a secret Super Mario 64 world. <laughs> Watch oh, out for the piranha. Cool! Guys are in the painting! Look at all the happy little accidents! <laughs> There's so many! There's a couple accidents that look like they happened repeatedly. <laughs> It kind of looks like those trees have faces in them. At the top. And I don't, I, I don't, I don't want to spoil anything. This isn't a spoiler. Don't spoil. Uh, but something I regret in my Dark Souls one playthroughs is rushing through this place. Okay. Uh, and I, you're never gonna find out why. I regret that. Okay, but, but I'll I'll just take it as a general note to uh, soak everything in and take it slow. Don't be afraid to do those side paths and, and look at things. Yeah, I, I mean, in contrast right. to this speed run, I think that that'll be <laughs> that, that's like an entirely new strategy for us. I, it's Listen it's here. one of those things where like you can. Uh... <laughs> also, fun fun fact: this was the first level design. In Dark Souls, this was their oh. uh, like their vertical slice basically was. was this so level. they painted backward. See, that's the type of of insight we uh, we come here for. Yeah. There is a long-standing rumor that the cut level of Demon Souls is this level. Ooh, I like that rumor. There's a cut level in Demon Souls, if that wasn't clear. <laughs> um, okay. That it's. All the lore points to it taking place in a snowy area. Okay. So the the prevailing wisdom is that they must have taken a lot of those assets, and that's what they started building Dark Souls with. Cool. It's off the back of the cut content from Demon Souls. Well, that that definitely changes the way that I view, um, well, the environments and and kind of the the tone. I mean, I, I suspect that this was. Uh, what do you call it? An art spec as well. Sure. Or I mean a vertical slice, right? Yeah, so yeah. they're setting it's not just about the the technical stuff and the mechanics, but like they're trying to set the tone for what the game's gonna feel like. Um, alright, let's do this. Ambush. Hi friends. Get back to your bird. How did you hit me there? Why are there all these blood stains? You guys are weak. The game is weak. Well, that looks hard to get. Oh, my favorite part of the game! Gray uses bow and arrow. <laughs> oh, He's no. evolving. All right, fine, fine, everybody. <laughs> is this is this what you want? No. 
No. <laughs> I don't even know how to pull it up. No. Okay. There you go. No scope. Try rear. Right, that's as high as that's as high as it'll let me aim. You got no scope this dog. Yeah. Take that, Troy. <laughs> no, no, stop, stop, no. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> okay, so that's gonna be our shortcut. Um. Uh, something that's I think is pretty. Like I said, if this is the first thing to design, it's kind of interesting that it's something that you you teleport to. Mhm. Mm Thank you, Bixby. Bixby didn't get that. Just in case you didn't. Okay. I can't. <laughs> Wow. It looks like he picked him up to hit you with it. This is the first thing that they designed. <laughs> you couldn't move. I was absolutely oh, trapped. Oh, man. That was... yeah. Plus, it's also like the enemies you fight kind of in the tutorial island again. Well, oh, boy. Oh. Okay, Halo. Oh, glee. Toxic. Great. All right, let's let that cool down a little bit. One thing, oh, or another thing, yeah, rather, that uh, is super... Uh, just compelling about Dark Souls in general is that the... Uh, the developers have kind of talked about how it's... or it's been a critique level before, not like a negative one, just an observation that this is very much like a Japanese Western RPG. Mm. If that distinction makes sense. I mean, it's a JRPG in that it's an RPG made in Japan, but, like, it has a lot of Western settings and sensibilities. Oops. Oh, the boss! I, I assume you're not talking, like, Clint Eastwood Western. Right. I, I just mean, like, you know, dude in armor, like, the, the fluted armor that you see on the cover, right? Um, the elite armor set that you even have, like that's like you know medieval knight, not necessarily like traditional Japanese culture, which is really pervasive in a lot of JRPGs. There is some of that in this game, but it's not. It's more. It's almost more um, Game of Thrones than it is like Final Fantasy. If that makes any sense. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Even Final Fantasy is kind of, like, a lot of, like, Western things put into a JRPG, but... Oh! Hey. Did we find... Did we find the first non-female harpies? freaky. And they hit hard. They're kind of terrifying. They really are. I don't know if it's trying to flash you or attack you. Whoo! I thought maybe I could stagger to hit them enough. Ugh. There were some coin though. So, uh, that got brought up again a lot recently when Ghost of uh, Tsushima came out. Because that's made by Western developers, and is obviously very uh, Asian-inspired, specifically Japanese culture, mm. right? Kind of the the opposite. Yeah. Uh, and how like a lot of, you know, a lot of like Western fantasy tropes are present in Dark Souls in the same way that a lot of like Japanese mythologies and Ghost of Tsushima and the respective Ooh. cultures seem to generally think that the developers did a good job at representing those things. Okay, I think at this point we have exhausted this building, this portion of the level. Uh, one thing that remains open is that down there, but I think we will... <laughs> Look at that guy hanging. Just like oh, a, hi, buddy. a lava centipede. Um, and we will come down through there and then unlock that front door. So I don't think... Or, oh no, maybe the front door's through there. So that remains a mystery, but maybe it has to do with that. Uh... All right, we could not be done. Yet. Is that Hold building on. a mystery? <laughs> oh my 
<laughs> that took me too long. <laughs> the reason why I kind of brought that up is because I feel like this level, to me, feels like uh, like a like a dungeon delve almost. Mm. It's very, it's almost D and D like in that it's kind of encounter a little bit of exploration encounter. Like even even in these first three rooms, right? You've you've knocked down a thing. You've had to deal with things exploding into toxic. You've got this long precarious bridge. And you're given ample opportunities to like look around and just take in the scenery. Yeah. So both from like a design point of view, and like a development point of view, it's really cool that this was the first thing that they made because it's got you've gone through three little packs of mobs and you've seen so much. Mm -hmm. It kind of reminds me of Berg a little bit. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It's very dense. Yeah, it's a lot like Undead Berg in that sense, yeah. yeah. Um, so we've had surprises, we've had Toxic, we've had, I mean, it's, you were talking about the uh, uh, vertical slice, we're definitely seeing it, the creepy things. And, uh, I, think, I think a lot of people... Um, oh, you gotta drop that. There. Oh! Go, anything to not use a bow. <laughs> a lot of people think a vertical slice will wind up being like the first level of a game, but that's... Mm -mm. Quite often, not the case. Speaking of, I I had a good like five to ten minute like search this afternoon for adult ball pits, just, just, mm. just to see if that was a thing. <laughs> Why not? It's so easy to clean those balls in a COVID environment. Oh, yeah, there's a hole there. Last got my job. Surprise. There are a lot of those, right? Where you see something, but you're not supposed to get mm -hmm. to it from here. Um, uh, I'm, like I said, this is a Super Mario 64 level, so... <laughs> yeah. You gotta, in the edit, you gotta do the, you know, the... Ba -ba 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 -ba. Or All we right, can now, 2D in our favorite games, Super Mario Ooh. Yeah. Odyssey. Okay, very important conversation that we should definitely have in the middle of the... Was it the sixth, 17th? 16th. 16th episode of a Dark Souls series was... Oh, uh, I see, yeah. were, were you guys, like, PlayStation or Nintendo people? Oh, so not even PlayStation, Xbox. Pre-Xbox um, pre pre in the equation. Because I would say, like... Mm. I'd say, like, Sega versus Nintendo. But, I mean, that, um, you, can, you can do that, too. You're, there was there was one generation, right? There's the N64 versus one. the original yeah. PlayStation. Yeah, I was N64 because I mean I had spent the last the previous yeah. ten years uh, absorbed in my NES <laughs> and SNES. So I mean I was like uh, Nintendo Power from the first episode or from the first issue. Um, I was a total Nintendo boy. So I don't even think I like knew about the PlayStation, but I certainly knew about the Nintendo 64. How are you trying? One of the one I was in 64. I was Nintendo family as well. We had NES, SNES, and then N64. But um, one of the coolest things I remember my parents saying to me was uh, GameCube was coming out, and then the Xbox was on the scene too. And then I wanted one of those things for like Christmas birthday because they're really close together. So I used to get like combo wombo presents. And I said, oh, I want, a ga I, I want a GameCube, mom. And then she says to me, she's like, son, you want an Xbox. Nice. <laughs> Go mom. <laughs> yeah. I mean, she wasn't they, wrong. They, that knew it, they knew it had a DVD player, right? The Xbox <laughs> had a DVD player. Yeah, maybe that's it. Maybe they just wanted to watch DVDs of like Seinfeld. But that's kind of the episode. Or, keep saying episode. That's the the console where we, yep. you know, where yep. we grew up, right? That's because it, we were done with Nintendo. We were done with the 80th Mario game and and cutesy tune shaded stuff. And it was time to uh, play play Halo. Like, yeah, like Halo and like uh, oh god, what was the plane game on Xbox? Uh, Crimson Skies. Yeah, Crimson Skies. Hell yeah. I just, when I was cleaning out the garage <laughs> to convert it, I had, I found like 10 Xbox controllers. 
yeah. <laughs> they, were, they were stored out here. Anyway, I think it's <laughs> it's weird. This is totally anecdotal, but uh, N64 versus PlayStation. Nobody, nobody has ever said PlayStation to me. I just nobody like has a passion. I feel like for the original PlayStation, and I feel like maybe that's why the PS Classic just bombed. Yeah, I mean, could be. I, I think part of it is just the the momentum and everything that Nintendo had yeah. built until because, like I said, I didn't even really know about the PlayStation um, right. at the time. Where it would have been. I honestly, if you would have asked me, like, you know, Jackbox style, if they were the same generation, I would have said no. <laughs> you know? <laughs> I, I mean, what's crazy is that the the PlayStation, it like outsold the N64 like two to one, didn't it? Oh, oh, the fire! The fire! Don't scratch my face. It has frozen like the this. Perfect moment in Discord. Yeah, I'm so happy. This is great. Anyway, now that we've gotten the N64 and PlayStation conversation out of the way. Oh, so in addition to 10 can Xbox controllers, which I do you not, that's how many I found and, you know, took to an electronics recycling place, I found three OG Xboxes. <laughs> wow. <laughs> One of which had to have been great. <laughs> <laughs> well, so another reason why Xbox, you know, after N64 then um, went to college and then I was at Microsoft when the Xbox... <sighs> Um, and that was like we used to have. I was in a group with some yeah. of the um, Bungie devs. We would do Halo tournaments uh, on on Fridays, and just like land it up with sixteen people and do Blood Gulch. <laughs> uh, and that was. I remember was one time I was so confident that I was decent, and I remember going with you to one of those, and I <laughs> I felt like I got two kills the entire night. <laughs> it was so bad. <laughs> What the hell is, what is going on with Does that? Do you have a booger crab? That is it's a, crab. a crab. It's it's actually a crab. What is Did that? Did you just kill his pet crab? I don't know. That's incredible. In crab crabular? In cr crab <laughs> cra crabtastic? <laughs> Alright, here's the harpy. <laughs> See, that time I was able to stun her. Alright, this is the bad part. Do you think that, do you think that, um, Harpy flew down there? Oh god, I don't like this. Oh no! Oh, you got piled. No! Oh, the invader's gone. Oh, Dynam! Yeah! No! He was the he coolest was guy ever. cool. I wanna be friends with him. Yeah. Grotesque one, if that's you, hit us up. On Insta, Facebook, Twitter. Yeah. Slack chat. On Insta. We can subscribe. So, the little crab thing. Um, I've never mm -hmm. seen one before. So, it's called a it's called a vagrant. The little crab is a vagrant. And vagrants are you didn't get the super rare. Like, well, people thought they were super rare. They are super rare. And like I said, I've never seen one. What happens is when somebody dies, they drop their souls and they drop any humanity they had ticked up in the top left, right? If they die again, mm -hmm. it's gone forever. If that pile was sufficiently yeah. large, it, I believe it has a chance to spawn a vagrant in other people's worlds. Really? Whoops. Yeah. So... So uh, someone cool. with a lot of souls okay. died right there. They died twice. Mm. Right, once to drop their souls. And so the souls were, yeah. were lost forever. And they, they turn into that, that thing. What's the soul total? Do you know? Interesting. Uh, it's it's humanity. On this if, if, if you have five or more Ooh. humanity stocked up, right, like you see on the top left, it says zero, right? When you use humanity, it, it increments it. What? Ooh. Whoa, what? Uh, what? Is happening. I just wanted Are these to get Spartan my boogers? souls back. Spartan boogers. Yeah, I thought they were just That's decoration. So cool. right, we got somebody who's waiting here to pounce oh. on me. Hey, buddy. We saw him before. 
who convinced that guy to just like hang out there? It's like a yeah, it's like a push-up challenge, but <laughs> it's probably for charity. Swing, please. Dark Souls equivalent of the ice bucket challenge. Yeah. <laughs> Ah, haha. I, I pulled out my bow for nothing. Okay, I don't want to fight those things. And I don't know that I'm going to be able to get to my souls now. Can't find a path back up. I must climb down. Steer into the skid. <laughs> Oh, this is cool. There's definitely no clowns in here. There's not. Oh, hey, that's the friendly. I'm calling it friendly. That friendly. no, it just moved friendly. at me. <laughs> I shouldn't have. Uh, so I I found out that this uh, the the fogging um thing is in the settings. Oh, you can turn it off. If you want. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a human oh, centipede. Bone, bonepede? Uh, so the, the vagrants kind of play into the... There is a mechanic that involves your soul counter in the top left that also goes pretty unexplained. Uh, it, yeah, it has nothing really to do with the story. Um, it's just a mechanical thing, but the more humanity you have active in the top left, the higher the drop rates of items is off enemies. So, oh, okay. so if you're rolling hard. Yeah, they, they got rid of that mechanic in the sequels. I mean, they never explained it in the first game, so no wonder nobody knew about it. Troy, I don't have a, I don't have Meg's phone number, but you gotta you gotta contact her and get her to like have the kids just mess with Grey while he's playing Dark Souls. Mm. Start making footstep noises. Well, I think the the nice part would be, yeah, start around 7.30 or 8 o'clock when they should be in bed. And just, like, wake <laughs> them up and, like, pound them full of Halloween candy. And then we'll schedule a nap. <laughs> and then there will be tears all around. Speaking of kids, since this is our Sweet 16 episode... I, Gray, are you going? Are your children going to drive when they're sixteen? Um, yeah, I presume so. I mean, like, I feel like. Oh, is that the gate to get into just here? Might have been disappointed by our our fog gate. Um, yeah, I mean, it's super young, but it didn't feel young at the time, right? <laughs> Washington's got some pretty good laws. Like, you can't drive with other people for a couple years. Mm. You mean without other people? <laughs> <laughs> like, you can't drive your friends around when you're 16. I, in I, right, gotcha. Yeah. I thought you... You have to do you every... have, like, a parent or something in the car still? I mean, that's just a permit, right? Yeah. You can drive family. Yeah, you can do that earlier in Washington, like, 15 or something. Mm. Uh, yeah, you get a permit. I had uh, that rule in my family. I don't remember how old I needed to be, but my parents did not let me drive other people, um, I think, for like my first year or something. Whoa, okay, there we go. All it's right. Boy, they do have everything in here, huh? <laughs> what is going on? And they have crows. This is a pretty high view. Man, I don't even think I've stood around and looked at all the stuff up here. Got that slow pan. Love that. Smooth like a drone. <laughs> the little, like, fire symbols next to the teleport points is an indication of where a lot of people online are. Oh. Just in case you want to do the multiplayer stuff. Hmm. That was unexpected. And I, I don't. This this place might be, but I don't. I don't ever recall it being uh, particularly. Did that make a shortcut for us? No. Uh, the, the other side by the Red Hot Chili Peppers is, is 
possibly my favorite song. Just period. Oh, come on. It, did that wing just fall off? You guys, his wing just fell off. This guy's face looks very Barney-ish. Look, look he's show. coming for a hug! Wow. That is super cool. <laughs> is this the same one we saw in the bad, valley? Bad night. Yes, in the Valley of the Drakes. Yeah. No, but that yeah. whole stumbling animation. It should have waited till I was a little closer, um, because I like I, I wasn't fearful or anything. But I guess I got <laughs> to stand back and admire it a little bit. Um. Because that whole sequence where his wing falls off and then he kind of like almost. I thought he was going to just fight it um, at it one point. So friendly until the vomiting poison part. He's just trying to give you a present. Dark Soul Strat. Wreck his toe. Oh, he doesn't have very much health. He chased it, then he hit his toes. I don't know if it's cooler to meet him for the first time here or in the Valley of the Drakes, because that was pretty cool too. I think this would have been a, maybe a little... Yeah, if we could wipe our brains and do it again. First we'd play Outer Wilds, and then second we'd come check this out. <laughs> <laughs> right. If I could ever... Uh oh. Wipe my brain. First thing I do is play Outer Wilds again, and then... When would you like reintroduce yourselves to your children? <laughs> like, they, they can come after Outer oh. Wilds and this yeah. dragon. Yeah. Okay, that seems fair. Wait, there's another one? Don't listen to that wife. So, let's do. Let's actually look at that. And oh, curse. okay. Poison resist by about 50. Curse by a 50. And then 120 on bleed. If we ever find like a bad section again, I mean, that would be a good. Okay. Even if you have to go fight those boogers again, that's pretty decent. Yeah. Wait. It looks cool too. See what it looks like. It does. Okay. Maybe I'll train him back to the. Uh, I'm gonna go for this. Toe platform. Hello. My name He's... is Albert Price. <laughs> Hello. Okay, this just ends with instant to death, walk doesn't it? Wait. This is what I'm like when I sleep. Like, you cannot disturb me. <laughs> Alright, this is a weird way to just... End a level though, because after all of the drama with the last one, then we just have a sleeping one that like doesn't react to hits. Like just just make the road the end. Right? Just add like a big pile of rubble that I can't get past, because this doesn't feel right. Can you throw a bomb on him? That worked pretty well for us last time. <laughs> it's, it is. It's your answer to everything. So there is that thing where um, rats seem to be the carriers of humanity, which is we've seen that in the <laughs> sewers and everything. It's uh, a good. I need to It's a good little here. detail. I'm glad you uh, noticed that. Oh, I'm back in enough, Jeff. The only correct use of the word Jeff. Well. Wow, that was a jump. Okay. Nothing left for me.
<laughs> there he is. <laughs> yep, there he is. Oh, okay. Uh huh. Yeah. That's an impressive cornering skill. <laughs> there might be more fire keeper souls. I'm not gonna tell you one way or another, but there is a new game play. <laughs> I'm also teasing. I I don't. Uh, I if you had to ask me, I would say there's at least one more. So we'll figure out how to fight this dude. I was like, as much offense what as up? he has, he better die easily. What up, dude? Sit down. Uh, is that physics or he's... He spins in death as he does in life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like his hip bone or something? Or his pelvis just keeps on spinning? I don't think that's the last. I liked your uh, maggot flashlight. Yeah. What you want? Don't even give him a chance to roll that spike. Mm -mm. Yes. We did it. It's definitely, it's it was definitely a very, one of the more uh, yeah. suspicious wall. <laughs> I was gonna uh, say it's definitely one of the more it. definitely one of the more conspicuous things. Hmm. Well, so if you just charge these boys and don't let them roll down on you. Yeah, we well, like that. Very much like seeing a key. Locked by some contraption. We call it a lock. Oh boy, <laughs> when that wheel flipped up for a second, I thought you were in for it. Yeah. Ew, what, where did that come from? Oh god. It's a convention. I'm trying to get out of here. Watch out for the homing. Swinging. Oh, he didn't home that time. Oh my god. Should have gotten out of the water first. Go. Yeah, the um the behavior on their homing has always been very strange. I gotta say I'm a big fan of uh doing Lost Isolith first. <laughs> yeah, that helps. I think this <laughs> this helm is making all the difference. But I kinda wanna see our contraption? Cheating, but it's called Dark field. Souls, Gray. Oh, I thought you were gonna turn to the right. Look at that. Never mind. We take off depth of field, and you can just see things in the distance way better. <laughs> God, we're gonna lose subscribers. This... <laughs> but uh, it doesn't look. And um, cool. your run is totally ruined and compromised. Bad. Bad. Get juked. Bone wheel. Now what's the significance of this here? This light. Do you think I could drop down from above? Alright. Whoa, what's going on here with these broken cages? And all you know. Oh, and the body's on spikes. Okay, there's that. Um, but do you see like the cages are open? <laughs> they just don't make cages Why? like they used to. Yeah, I'm concerned about like the manufacturing standards. Oh, nope, I'm triggering. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that helps.
Okay, I'm feeling like progress was made. Of course, I could have done this from like a long time ago, but but let's let's see what all these broken cages are about. We have not been down here. Oops. Is that weird dissonant? Yeah. This is the Halo Zone. It's got the flood. It's got the. It's got the chorus. These guys to commit. <laughs> <laughs> if a guy that drank 64 ounces of beer in a minute and a half did the Halo song. Dude, that's a half gallon. That would hurt. <laughs> that would hurt. <laughs> but I bet it'd fix Mitch. <laughs> <sighs> we don't we don't have to talk about that on no, there. No, you don't we're want not. to Tim. We're not. No, no. <laughs> I'm gonna do it. Can. If if you guys have the stones to do it, I'm up for it. <laughs> hey, there we go. Ooh. Ooh. There'd be something. Acid, acid surge is what you get after you turn 30. <laughs> Do that. It's interesting seeing there's the crow, or ravens or crows or whatever. Which is which? Ravens are larger. Okay. Uh, but like you see, there's definitely like echoes of some of the imagery in the main world, so to speak, here. Like, same, same, but different. Mm-hmm. No, I woke them up. I think they were. Oh, the is this our Hanex? That's the Hanex. The machine gun's in here. Thank goodness. <laughs> I don't... Oh, is that the sound those things make? We just haven't heard them? No, that's something else, right? Yeah, that's something else. It's coming from over here. I bet we'll see it. Oh, is it them pooping? <laughs> Do you make a slight cooing noise when you poop? I'm good one. Ooh. Nice juke. Oh, yeah. man. These raven harpies got nothing. Until they had some. Had. Crunch. Oh. Oh, I was gonna say one less Velociraptor. Uh, I like the when when a level is like branching, so that I didn't have to go through thirty minutes of play to get back here. You know, I, I you <laughs> go back to the beginning and then you go down a different path. You, you unlock the annex now, and so I still have the new adventure in the same level, but I don't feel like I'm being unreasonably punished. It does feel like that that um, that spirit of level design has been. Uh, whoa! One oh, of the bigger tried to kick. <laughs> one of the bigger influences from this game. You got it. You did it. Finally, that answers that. <laughs> oh my god! I think you're gonna slip. No! Oh, that was so close. Bastards! Oh, she's flexing on me. She just hit a full, like, power flex over my corpse. She has a very well shaped, um. <laughs> beak. beak. 
<laughs> Me, I mean, Hulu used to be so good. Like they had this thing called a queue, where you could go in and like set up shows you wanted to watch. Like all of the episodes, put them in order. I want to watch three episodes of this show and then switch over to this one or whatever. And you know, that, that yeah, a thirty episode queue, and it would play everything in order. And then one day they decided, oh no, we need to totally get rid of this perfect system and instead just do giant panels of shows and make you scan through all of these menus with full screen things to get to what you want to see. Oh, and, and that thing that you were just watching, you want to see the next episode of it? No, no, we're going to show you all of the, the hit shows first. That is beautiful. Who, That'll be on the fifth tab. Who also you continue watching. really, like sucks at rewatching a series inbound oh yeah because it'll just show like oh already yeah it's like oh you're at it'll like it'll <laughs> when you go to the next episode in a series it'll it'll just skip to the end because you were in the credits the last time you watched it yes um netflix eventually like figured it out to where it usually knows when you're doing a rewatch it knows like if you just skip to the next episode to start at the beginning instead of where you last were. You know what I want a little bit? I want like a little bit of computer vision or like to know like when I'm in the cup and I've fallen asleep on the couch and... <laughs> 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 but it's and like, it, it doesn't have to ask, are you still there? It's just sort of like, nah, you're not. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, it should know it is somewhere between 1 and 345. Therefore, <laughs> you're going to play 10 minutes of an episode and not half a season. Mm-hmm. <laughs> right. <laughs> it, there should just, yeah, the note should come up instead of, are you still there? Or instead of just, yeah, playing like uh, half of a season. <laughs> It should just a little note that just fades in that says they're there. <laughs> it like tucks you yeah, in. It's cute. Yeah. It's like we got you. That got would you. endear me to a company so much. Yeah. Use machine learning for good, not just to serve me yeah. ads. Is Andre gonna fight me. I don't wanna fight you, Andre. I only knew who you were talking about because uh, I'll be, I, I did only know uh, that Ivar uh, is like spoilers. Well, it's a history thing. It's like not even a. It's not a spoiler. It already happened. <laughs> oh yeah, but tell that to Nelson and Hamilton. Oh. Like, oh yeah, when he gets shot by- No, 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 no! Uh, bruh. <laughs> he, he led the armies- and do you remember when America won the American Revolution? No, no, no! Wait, dude. Spoilers. So, I'm- I'm familiar with Ivar the Boneless. I mean... There's like very little written account of... Ragnar. Um, and, but his sons are all, Bjorn, like they actually found a grave of a Viking named Bjorn who raided the Mediterranean or something, which is like, this is like when Peter went off on Haas <laughs> avocados that one time, that one YouTube channel that didn't like them or something. Do you remember yes. that? <laughs> It was like, it was a full 30 seconds on, on some avocado. I don't even remember. <laughs> but this is way cool. Um, <laughs> this is way cool. <laughs> oh, this is going to be Coliseum. We are underneath that bridge. And then, yep. These mm. are kind of those weird chain things that I didn't call out before because we were having a riveting about boneless uh, boneless fish and um, chips I, yeah I think of Jonathan Colton every spring <laughs> hey oh hello. oh the tail the tail did it for me I hope this doesn't awaken anything in you <laughs> <laughs> I mean I was intrigued and then 
Maybe she's friendly. Maybe that's a scythe of welcome. Scythe. <laughs> scythe. Like that Peter got all indignant. <laughs> scythe, you moron. Scythe. Oh, okay. Oh, choice A or choice B. Um, it is a scythe of welcoming. Who art thou? One of us thou art not. If thou hast misstepped into this world, plunge down from the plank and hurry home. <laughs> if thou seekest I, thine desires shall be requited not. That was a lot of, like, double negatives. I'm not sure. Yeah, so are you telling me to jump off the cliff then? That's what I need to do? Thou must returneth whence thou came. This land is peaceful, its inhabitants kind, but thou dost not she belong. Probably should take a look outside if she thinks they're all kind. Plunge down from the plank yeah. and hurry home. Have you have you been out there? I, don't know I if just told you plank this, but you're living in ruins. Hmm. Huh. Comments behind the NBC. These can only be good. <laughs> Guess so. So jump off of the... I'm not going to do it yet. I'm just looking to see what this... Oh! Oh. Um, by not going to do it yet... What's that called? Player choice? Levity? Uh, game design? Or... <laughs> agency? Not the one. We don't know anything about agency. <laughs> Did it just do the, like, dun -dun sting and you... <laughs> I yeah. Just... Yeah, I got the sting of... Okay. Well, that sucks. Was that just a fun here. little jaunt to get a couple items? Yeah, I think, I mean, that was their vertical slice and it was, you know, effort they had spent, so huh. put it in the game. I think the Great Hollow is like that too, right? There's gonna be some fighting, maybe a boss, um, some items, but it's like not in the critical path. It was cool, I was just expecting to... Get Shrek by Moth. Alright, good session. A little bit off the beaten path. Um, maybe not toward uh, end game goals, but very cool to see that content. Um, Troy, what Yo, are you up to? The only thing I've been doing lately is like demoing a piece of property. And, it, you know, talk to me two months from now. I'll give you guys a link. You can buy it. <laughs> okay. And what about you, Tim? Uh... You know what? You can just find me on Twitter. All, all pertinent updates are there. And until next week, uh, for me, for Troy, for Tim, game on. <laughs>